Hi guys, so today I'm gonna show you how I painted my KitchenAid mixer. Um, as you can see, I took it from a be ugly green color to a beautiful um, light pink color. This is how it started, green, and this is how it turned out. So keep watching to um, see how it was done. mixer. My sister gave this to me. It is an ugly green color that I've tried to paint before. As you can see, I did it wrong. So today we're going to do it right. And I'm going to show you how. Hopefully inexpensive, easy, painless. We'll see. Here we go. So first we'll want to take it apart as best as we can. And for this, all you're going to need is a screwdriver, a Phillips head, and a flathead screwdriver. Um, you'll use the screwdriver to take out the screws on this plate. I've already done that, so and this just comes right out. Set that aside. You're not gonna paint that. There's a screw right there, and then there's a screw on the other side, and you'll take those out, which I already did as well. Um, and then just take this entire face plate thing KitchenAid off set that to the side as well you don't want to paint that and then in the back here up at the top right there there's a screw that you'll take out which will then release this back set that aside for now okay and then make sure that the top is locked not lock it. We're gonna flip that over, but first unscrew this guy and take off this emblem there. And set those to the side as well and make sure you keep track of all your pieces because you will have to put this back together again. Um, and you're gonna have to remember where everything goes. So then we'll flip this over carefully. It's very heavy. I don't want to break it. And then there is a screw right there that you'll use the flat head to undo. Carefully, don't lose anything. And then this, keep track of your stuff. That releases this pole here. And that's on the side right there. And so what you're going to do to get that out, set it back over. And then you'll want to get a hammer or something to hit it with. So let's see, I'll try to use this screwdriver. And then just hit it until it pops out the other side coming this is working so you can't really just use your screwdriver if it's small enough back up and then I'm gonna still need to hit it again side don't lose it and then that will release the top right there now you have two pieces and that's about as much as it'll come apart for you <clears throat> so you'll have this piece which is the bottom so you'll be able to spray paint it without damaging the motor then you will have the top half that we're going to have to tape off, especially back there. You don't want to get any of any spray paint in there. Um, anyway, we're going to tape that off. All right, guys. 
guys. So I have this sandpaper here. This is 120 grit sandpaper that I just had. And I'm just going to sand the crap out of the whole entire thing. Everything I can get. Otherwise, the paint won't stick to it. So you want to make sure to sand um, it down really, really well. Otherwise, the whole thing will be pointless. So make sure you take your time and sand it down really, really well. All right, next I am going to take some painter's tape and tape off the areas that we cannot um, or we don't want to paint. So it's time to spray. So what I did since the top portion of the um, mixer is round, it would be kind of hard to spray. So I used some of this, which is what I had from another project, but you could also use like a coat hanger or something heavy that can hold something as heavy as this. So I'm just hanging it from this wood piece I have. Sorry for the mess. This is my garage um, where I do most of my dirty work. So I'm just hanging it from that so that I can spray paint it all in one sweep. One swoop. Uh, and then I will spray paint the other pieces um, pretty easily just sitting on the ground. But that's how that's going to look with the wire. Hopefully it'll um, hang and not drop and break. So we'll see. So I just spray painted that. You see how pink I will change all the items here. Rustoleum um, Ultra Cover Paint Plus Primer Premium Ultra Matte. And it is in the color rustic pink. I like it. Looks good. I've got my piece hanging here. So here's the finished results, guys, of my painted KitchenAid mixer. I think it looks pretty good. It's the exact color I wanted. You guys did not see me do the finish coat. I used a, I used Rust-Oleum um, Frosted Pearl Top Coat on this. It has a nice pearlescent sheen to it, but it still kind of looks matte, which I really like. Um, and then I went ahead and sanded it down with a 2000 grit sandpaper, which makes it feel um, softer to the touch. And then I put back on all the hardware that we took off earlier, um, just screwed everything back in, put that back in, hammered it back in, um, and then screwed everything in, took off all the tape, and voila, it looks great. Now it is not 100%, but that is my fault because when I was spraying it, I you can see some drips um, right here as well. You can see a drip, but that doesn't bother me um, that much. You won't be able to tell when I have it sitting up in the kitchen and it doesn't change. Um, the way it's used so it doesn't affect anything there anyway i love it i really like the way it turned out it was pretty um inexpensive and easy actually this is one of the easier um diys i think i've done in a while so and it looks great it's gonna be perfect sitting in my kitchen Please like and subscribe if you like this video and um, you want to see more content from me and have fun creating. Peace out.